So this is a walkthrough course on how to write the introduction and the methods of your uh, biomedical research paper focused on a database as well as parts of the results in discussion. And all of this being done in the first week of your project. Now, this might sound like a lot, um, something that you know people usually uh, don't do. You will see uh, by the end of this walkthrough course, you will be able to do exactly what uh, uh, what we are proposing. Again, my name is Ricardo Petroborn, and I'm the chief academic officer for Precise Skills. So, is this really true? Uh, well, this is absolutely true. You know, what I'm going to uh, be teaching you is exactly uh, what my academic group has been using for years. And if you follow this link, you find something like uh, 300 different uh, uh, papers um, where this method, where in many cases this method has been applied. So what I'm showing you, or what I am going to be showing you, is a result not really of some, something just theoretical, but it's something that has been tried and proven in multiple uh, papers. Now, in your first attempt uh, to do something like this, um, it will probably take you a week to get uh, the first skeleton for your paper together. So basically the introduction methods um, uh, results in discussion. But later on, very likely, your time to get all of this accomplished is going to be much, uh, 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 you know, you're going to be able to do this in a much shorter period of time. So what exactly will I have accomplished at the end of this walkthrough course? What are you going to be able to do at the end of this walkthrough course? Well, number one, you will have a first draft of your introduction and your methods. Later on, we're going to be discussing about this, but of course, throughout the project, you're going to be iterating uh, over this first draft, but you will have a first draft. And then for the results in the discussion sections, um, you will have a very, very good initial draft, a rough draft, that's going to guide you throughout the project uh, in all of the subsequent phases. Now, why is it important then, you know, why do I want to have a first draft of the uh, introduction and methods and portions of the results in discussion uh, done in the first week of my article? Why is it that I can't, like, just, you know, create a design, uh, collect, uh, uh, do all my analysis, and then, you know, once I have my results, then and only then I start writing my paper. Well, there are several different reasons why it's very, very important to uh, write a first draft in your first week. Um, I think probably the very first uh, uh, reason, and probably one of the most important reasons, is that Whenever you write a paper about a database, usually you're talking about an original paper, so something that is going to demonstrate a finding that has not been demonstrated in the literature before. Um, and uh, as you write the first uh, draft of your paper, you're going to be literally forced uh, into demonstrating that this idea is truly novel so that it's not something that other people have done. So this is the first reason. 